Okay, now that you've made your prediction, let's have a look at if you were right. Okay, so we've got a nice hot Bunsen flame. Let's start with this shorter tube. We just need to give it a minute for that gauze at the bottom to get red hot. Okay, so it's hot and now you can hear what this tube's doing. When we put it sideways like this, there's no longer the hot air rising through the tube, so there's no sound. When we put it vertical again, that noise comes back. Okay, let's try this next tube. Let's see if that's hot enough. So as you could hear, this longer tube had a much deeper sound with a much lower frequency. And that's because the resonant wavelength in this tube is longer. Okay, so what I've got here is a Kunsch tube, and this is actually a really nice demonstration of standing waves. So what a Kunsch tube is, is this is just a long hollow tube, and it's got little holes along the top here. Now it's attached to natural gas, just like a Bunsen burner, which I'll turn on now. And at this end, we've got a speaker. So this speaker is going to output a frequency and then you'll see what happens to the gas when I light it up. Okay, so at the moment, I'm not inputting any frequencies. You can see near the gas input, the flame's slightly higher. But let's now turn on this, this sound system. And you can see we're getting a standing wave pattern there. Okay, now at the moment, that's at 933 hertz. What do you think would happen if I halved that frequency? Okay, let's have a look. Okay, that's now at 466. Let's
Okay, so you can kind of see that the wavelength is now about twice as long with half the frequency as it was at 933 hertz. Whenever we're using open pipes, open at one end or open at both ends, we need to account for end effects. So end effects occur because the antinode doesn't actually occur at the end of the pipe. It actually occurs a little bit outside the end of the pipe, which effectively lengthens the pipe. To measure the size of the end effects, we can compare two different harmonics. We'll see how to do that in a minute. So the actual length of the pipe, this black length here, is equal to some integer times the number of half wavelengths. So in this diagram here, we've got one half wavelength, there's a quarter of a wavelength here, and then another quarter of a wavelength here. So we've got one half wavelength, and then um, minus two times the end effects. So it's two times because this pipe is open at both ends. If there was only one end open, then it would be one times the end effect. So now a question for you. Do end effects make the natural frequencies higher or lower?